What's up guys, welcome to your 152nd Android tutorial for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, hopefully you guys will understand a little bit more about what we're doing. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to add to this URL. Uh, because before I just wanted to show you guys it was a JSON type URL. What we're going to add to it is a question mark, screen, underscore, name, equals. And uh, for example, what we're going to do is just copy this and go to a browser I'm using Chrome just ordered some Pizza Hut but uh, we're gonna paste it here and then we're gonna say our username for example my bring back um, we're gonna type that in hit enter and this is what it looks like this is what we're reading and this is all of our information now within this uh, this is basically all of my tweets doesn't really look like it but it is um, so what we can do is we can pull some of this information according to the object itself. For example, there's a, uh, the one that we're going to refer to is if you hit Control F and then type out text, you can see there's profile text color and there's the actual text of a tweet, which is here's our most recent tweet. So again, you can see all these different objects. Um, here's our zero position, which we're grabbing. This would be position one, position two, etc. And then once we have that position, which we already set up, we're going to pull this kind of like the section that's defining the text. Uh, so we're going to refer to this text here and then pull the information that it holds. So it's kind of, you can kind of think of it as like a key and value type thing. So we're pulling from the text of our position zero object uh, and we're getting the, the value of it. Um, I don't know if, if that makes more sense to you, but uh, that's kind of what we're doing. So hopefully we get something. Hopefully we get something like you know I believe it is uh, just for Mac. Sadly, sad face. I even remember that. I don't tweet too much. I don't get on Twitter, but that that often I should say. But anyways, uh, so now we have you know our base URL, and then we just need to add a string name to it. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial again we have this JSON object all we're gonna do is we're gonna add to this string reference or the string builder um, this is why we set up the string builder um, so we're just gonna say URL and we're gonna add to it so we're gonna say append and then what we're gonna add so what we're gonna add is whatever is being passed in our username right uh, so hopefully that makes some sense again you know this last tweet method takes a string within it which is our username so all it's going to do is add our username to the end of this URL, and then after that, it's just going to go to or you know we're going to call our get method, we're going to set up a response, we're going to get the information. Basically, the JSON object at position zero is probably the only new thing that we're doing, um, and you know also getting the timeline which sets up the array for us, all that stuff. Um, so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Of what we're doing now that you can actually see what it looks like um, and again this is just the browser uh, like Google Chrome type that in and this is kind of the background stuff that's happening the JavaScript object no uh, notation so now what we're doing again is pulling uh, that object but we also want to pull that text because you know that's the only thing that's really important so what we want to do is again we're gonna set up an async manager or async task uh, type class to read this JSON object or the most recent JSON object in that URL so again uh, this is kind of review but we're just gonna say public class read extends async task it's been a while I think since we used this but it's good review here uh, async task and then we want a string reference uh, integer and another string and then we set it up and we also have to you know import our async task and add the unimplemented methods so we're gonna add that method and we're also gonna right click go to source override implement methods and we're also going to add this or on post execute again nothing new there we've covered all this stuff 
but that's probably all the time we have for this tutorial. Uh, we'll finish it up in the next tutorial, and then we'll probably do one more just to get you guys, again, a little bit more familiar with everything. And I'll catch you guys then. Have a good one.